So Giselle, you spoke about it being a challenge before the game. What are your thoughts about the fixture? Yeah, it, you know, Exeter are a very good side. They're, in the first half particularly, their ruck speed was phenomenal and it is very, very difficult to defend effectively when the ball is being moved that fast. So the, the girls folding quickly, pushing up, but getting those real dominant hits in is really hard when the speed of ball is that good. So hats off to Exeter. They did do that incredibly well. Um, we had opportunities and unfortunately I think when we look back on that there were several opportunities that could have resulted in scoreboard points. From our point of view we had some parameters of success that are slightly different to just the scoreboard because starting 2024 with last year's finalists and then next week the champions is, is a tough ask. Um, so we've got different parameters of success around how we're playing so we'll go back and we'll check on those trying to improve again on those and when we play Gloucester next week which will be a very very difficult game again and then into the uh, into the Loughborough game so it it's frustrating because um, I think that we left quite a lot out there but it's also pleasing that some of the things that we put together was fantastic so it's a, a definite we're on the up but you can see moments where one little thing different and we could have been it could have been a, a better result on the scoreboard and we could have taken home that try bonus point. And there were some hugely positive bits in the game, specifically Karis Cox's almost ridiculous try um, from 50 metres out. What were your thoughts on that? It had Van der Merwe vibes about it, didn't it? The, the try that he scored in the in the Six Nations for Scotland. But I just, yeah, she, she took the ball, she beat the defenders, then she came back into the defenders to beat them again. I mean, it was, you know, it was, it was a superb, superb uh, try that she scored there. And hopefully that'll give her a lot of confidence as well in her, her ability to, to run with ball in hand, because it was an exceptional try. It really was very, very special. Probably see that as try of the week this week. Well, we hope so. And going into next week, there's a huge double header um, at TFSC. Um, what are your plans for that? Yeah, really exciting. The boys kick off against Caldy at 2.30 and then we're 4.45 against Gloucester Hartbury, which are, as I say, the champions and they are playing some very good rugby. But that'll be a challenge for us and we can work on these areas that I've already alluded to. Um, and yeah, we'll look forward to it. We'll prepare for it. There's a massive amount of learning for us as a side in what we've just just performed with their huge amounts of learning around decisions that we're making and things that we do in crit critical moments and if we can get that into us really quickly then uh, we can we can take that into the game next week but hopefully everyone will come down and big support for for the lads and for us as well thanks Giselle thank you